Now, as Nigeria commemorates the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women, activists call for a proactive measure to arrest all forms of dehumanizing acts against the girl child. Gender-based violence has become one of the most prevalent social vices in Nigeria, Africa, and other parts of the world. Hence, the need for reforming the existing legal framework to bring an end to the harmful act. New Central's Omolola Ololadi tells us more in this report. Violence against women is a pervasive, deeply rooted issue that transcends borders, cultures and socioeconomic classes. Violence against women means any act of gender-based violence that results in physical, sexual or psychological harm or suffering to women. From a medical point of view, you're looking at an increase in the number of cases of possibly HIV or other sexually transmitted diseases because many of these attacks go unprotected when um, we're dealing with penetrative sexual intercourse. We're also dealing with unwanted pregnancies and of course then we're dealing with the long-term medical impact perhaps of these attacks that as it affects a woman's fertility. In Nigeria, one in three women between the ages of 15 to 24 have experienced some form of sexual violence Four in ten women have been assaulted in their lifetime, and one in five women have experienced physical violence, according to the United Nations. Over 23 million girls are victims of child marriage, confirmed to be the highest in Africa, and further reveal that women and girls are the most trafficked worldwide. Violence against women is not just limited to the physical aspect of battering them. I also believe that the way you talk to women, the way you handle them, and all of those things adds to um, violence. We're afraid. What will people say? And then we'll be looking at what will people say, and then we end up, some, most times, we end up dying there. And a lot of us are suffering in there, and they are just there. Always after their children, most times, because they won't want a situation of a divided home. While many believe that sociocultural norms and religion play a contributory role in the prevalence of violence against women, especially in different parts of Africa, advocates emphasize the need for public enlightenment while focusing on the need to enforce implementation of laws against perpetrators of this dangerous act. I think uh, in last year we, of, um, we had more than 5,100 cases of uh, sexual and gender-based uh, violence that were under um, investigation slash prosecution and only 16 convictions. And then this year, it's not much better. In August, we had around 3,700 cases and only 33 convictions. So you can clearly see that there is a huge challenge in terms of implementing the law and essentially a criminal justice system that is not really uh, well equipped and sufficiently resourced um, in order to carry out its, its functions. For some years, violence against women was underreported in many countries, including Nigeria, due to social barriers, stigma or lack of trust in the justice system. Experts say the narrative is changing as they have seen an increase in the reportage of these cases in recent years. We've seen a steady increase in formal and informal reporting of these cases. What we're seeing now is people having more faith in the system, people becoming more aware of support services that exist, people seeing themselves as mandated reporters. So if they see something, they know they have a duty to say something and do something. As scores of people continue to lend their voices against the elimination of violence against women, Advocates believe it is crucial to reform the existing legal framework to provide stiffer penalties for perpetrators of gender-based violence. Omolola Ololade, reporting for News Central.